Commodore of the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, Telus Baffle, defended the agency's decision to use what a recent Auditor General's report called a home base business to purchase weapons. In the report, the Auditor General, who was examining purchases of weapons and other paraphernalia for the entity during 2014 and 2015, noted that the company team Procure Limited did not have the Commissioner of Police's approval to import weapons, among other discrepancies. He also concluded that the Defense Force his use of the company over a more established one posed probable security risks. Bethel, who addressed the matter, says the purchaser met all government requirements and has been used by other agencies. We've never had any uh, discrepancies whatsoever with that particular uh, purchasing agency. Um, also with the purchase of weapons and ammunition, there are certain State Department clearances that are required that were obtained as well. Um, also, in the process of purchasing arms and ammunition, the purchaser himself never, com never came into direct contact with these weapons. They are actually shipped from the U.S., uh, directed to customs, and then customs would advise us uh, upon the arrival of uh, these weapons and ammunition. The Auditor General's report also noted that the Bahamas Customs Department could not verify three of the entries logged for the company. It also stated that two entries for shipments of weapons, one in 2014 and another in 2015, could not be found by customs. Bethel set the record straight. There was talks about uh, certain invoices uh, not being found and so we, we had a team work with customs to go down and, and, and let's, let's see where the, let's find these invoices, which they did, all right, because there was the impression that there were weapons out there floating around, and, um, which was never the case. All of our weapons are accounted for. The, the, the invoices or the documents that they were looking for were found at, at customs, so everything has been verified.